Dubois was in his right to land big shots when they appeared to be clinching and now these are the first dangerous moments for Joe Joyce. Fireworks are going to come, you can be sure, there's a good right hand from Dubois. He's looking for him now and another and Joyce is having to cover up, he's caught by a left hand to the head as well and the power shots are starting to come in here from Dubois. Martin Bowers said that could turn out to be the further the fight goes, the left eye of Daniel Dubois. Good shot from Dubois, nice right hand. Good right hand again from Dubois. And Joyce walked straight into that. It caught him pretty flush and an uppercut. And now comes the big toe to toe exchange. Yeah, tremendous work there from Dubois. But will he let Joe Joyce off the hook? And... Joyce moving to his right. He's moving away from the shot. There, as I, as I speak, then he just takes the sting out of that because he's moving away. His movement is, is better, you see. Obviously, you risk walking onto a left hook, but Daniel hasn't really thrown that. He hasn't threatened with that shot. It's the right hand that he's really looking for. So, with Joyce moving to the right, he's moving away from it, and it's just taking the sting out of it, John. It's a better left hand lead from Dubois that time. But here comes Joyce again, fighting for the full three minutes of the round, right the way up to the bell, and finishing strongly, and Dubois absorbing some punishing shots in the last few seconds of that round, and you saw there Joe Joyce looking to the Dubois corner, holding up his arm as much as to say, what do you think now? This is reality. Oh dear, oh dear, it's the left eye and he's gone down. He's gone down with a jab right on that damaged left eye and down he goes. And it could be that it's all over right here. He's, who has those big opportunities maybe next year. Unbelievable, I can't believe what I've just witnessed there. It's right on the, on the eye, isn't it, that shot? Incredible. That right hand, Joe Joyce, he's done it before. He did it against uh, Dubois in the, in the contest as well. You know, he's going to be at his quickest. And he senses it. He's been patient with it as well. Right there as well from Parker. The right hand and another fast right hand. See by Parker. But a good uppercut. But still, Joyce comes at him. Cracking contest, John. What David Hay makes of this one. Big right hand. Out here. I think Joyce has got the power, and so has, has thrown that last 30 seconds or so. And showing a few signs of, of the one point, two rounds to one, and Joyce has keeps measuring the target with that jab. This is, is affecting him as well. Oh, that was a low punch. Before he throws that right hand. There is another. That's good from Parker. That's when he produces his best work. Oh, great right hand from Parker, yeah. but what he's doing. The quality shots there were from Parker. From Joyce. Operation with that right hand, whips it over. There it is there. So he has a good chin himself. He's on the receiving end here. This is... Yeah, and there's Parker again. Against you know, a former world champion, a quality fighter here. About not being greedy. This has been his best round up to now by far. A right up on the inside from Joyce. Couple of good shots there from emphatic and dominant three minutes in favour of Joe Joyce. That's good from Parker, good right hand. Missed by a distance with that attempted right uppercut. These punches seems to be getting weaker, but... That's a good jab from Joyce. Followed by the left up to the body. There's that right hand there. Career heaviest weight. Parker, who's been training up in. Oh, big shot oh, from Joyce. Oh, good right hand. Morecambe with. And Joyce not going charging in. Joyce will have seen that injury, of course, but it's good. The right hand there, which rocked back Parker's head. Oh, big, big shots here from Joe Joyce. 
Oh, big left last round, and Joyce has responded. Oh, oh he's gone. What a shot. He's gone, the left hand. Nine, and he's counted out. It's all over. John, 39 years of age. We mentioned the the health issues that he struggled with in prior fights. Does he have enough left to test Philip Herkovich here tonight? Herkovich doing a very good job of fighting long from the outside like a big man. Ooh. Oh, a right hand from Zhang and down goes Herkovich. A sweeping right hook from Zhang. Wow, now I want to see a replay of that, but initially looked like it was something of a cuffing pull mm -hmm. to put him down. Referee clearly saw enough contact to make this call, but and you didn't see a lot of complaining from Hergovic. I was going to say not debating it. Yeah, I was going to say no argument from Hergovic. So that's a that's a telltale sign right there. That that shirt that shot probably rocked him, or at least shook him up. What a game changer! Hergovic is winning that round pretty convincingly. Now Zhang in position to claim a 10-8 round. Yeah, look at the legs of of Hergovic. He's he's moving. He's he's a little unsteady. Oh, there's that straight left hand from from Zhang. That is a power punch. What a start from Big Bang. So an entertaining start to our co-feature here between Philip Hergovich and Jalei Zhang. And Zhang tries to jump on Hergovich, perhaps a little too literally in the opening moments of the contest causing a clash of heads opening moments of the round excuse me and it looks like a little bit of a cut and some swelling now on the forehead of Zhang now, oh, a bad cut on Hergovich's head And Mannix, you mentioned this earlier. I think a lot of the skepticism, to the degree that there is skepticism about Zhang, is obviously rooted in the Jerry Forrest fight. But what Zhang was going through that night, having discovered after the fight to have had kidney failure, water a day. So he's completely gone the other direction. Oh, he borrowed uh, the Chris Algieri jug. He is now putting a thumping on Philip Hergovich in this round. Zhang. Wants to challenge for a world title and wants to be able to do it in a stadium in Beijing where he says he'd be able to draw 100,000 fans. Zhang answering and giving as good as he's getting as he stalks, stalks, stalks Hergovich around the ring. Replies from Hergovic have been a little bit more frequent in this round. But Took Hergovich, a little bit of power off, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's trying to, he's trying to, ooh. Oh, good counter oh. shot there from Zhang. And Hergovic might be in some trouble. And he will be bailed out by the bell. Zhang is moving forward, he's always fighting off his back foot. Which again, is not something Hergovic has, is used to. No. I mean, he hasn't fought this way before. He's moving around like a middleweight. Oh, oh Good uppercuts on the inside from Zhang. Hergovic. Looking a little wobbly and hanging on right now. The body language of Hergovich not looking positive to me, guys. It's bad, Corey. That body language of Hergovich is telling you the guy that looks like he's oh. had a lot of the fight taken out of him. Zhang doing a great job of just picking his shots, not looking for big shots, putting things together, compounding the punishment. Zhang has Hergovich reeling right now as Hergovich fires a couple shots to the body. Oh, good body shot, too. And look, you look at the shot. Mm, good shot to the body there from Hergovic. Hergovic just sinking that right hand to the stomach of Zhang. And Zhang looks for that big right hook again. Zhang has fought this round like someone that believes he's ahead on the scorecards. I agree. And it, that was not the right decision. Or perhaps like someone who just doesn't have anything left in the tank. It's one of the two. But it is not the best looking round for Jalei Zhang. Hergovic is having a great round. Been dominant, been throwing 
combinations, moving well. Mm, good right hand over the top. Final 10 seconds of a back and forth slugfest between Hergovic and Zhang. And both men will slump to their corner. <laughs> and in Hergovic's case, slump into the arms of his corner. I think slump. Is now, Jerry, he can give you a ton of respect from people. Oh, and a big right hook, and that sends Forrest down for a second time. To the jab and the straight left hand. One thing I was saying is the John community as a real contender. You a believer that you're either born with power? Down two times. And those shots right there, you do not recover from that quickly. Those shots on the temple. Joshua would take a shot on the temple, never recover. We saw Miguel Burchelt last weekend. No, he caught him again. Jerry Force keeps going at the big fella. He goes, his game plan has been thrown out the window, but shot. Living up to a little low, not a in his cap for another dude when he's being knocked down. Like he knows how to spring up, he knows how to punch in between the punch. He knows what it's like to get hurt. And that was a big round for the big bang, but you gotta give Jerry Forrest credit. The other fighters power away. You already know. Time him with timing and speed. Just when it started to get on cruise control 30 compared to eight. I'm gonna fight that guy at boxing gym. Standing in and there was a straight left again. Clinches, stares at the three knockdowns. Very forced on the inside, and I agree. Just concentrate. What's tough for Steve, even though he wants to be on the inside, a couple of nice jabs. He's taking this round off. One of you going down and getting up. Days. You don't hear it yesterday. For an Anthony Joshua. I think it's. Well, you got to give credit to Forrest. He's not going to. But Jong is purposely. Good body shot by four. No, you're going into the smart thing from the beginning of the round. John, which is big time in those first three over the final, over the last three rounds. To put him. And if Dong needs to find his second win, that clubbing left hand will help. Two club. One good. He got up. One. Speed, and you won't want to go. How many fights did you think he was completely overmatched out of? And he looks. It's going to take a lot of energy. From your legs, and you gotta keep punching. Zhang thought it was a headbutt. I'm not even Zhang at all. I'm saying you've got to. Now Zhang, oh, that will do it. As Forrest pulled off the stutter. And Rourke Young have it 93 93 for a majority draw. Un empate majoritario.